greetings to every one of you today we are going to discuss another very very important concept from data structures and algorithm that is graph coloring problem let us consider a graph with the four vertices a b c d it is a undirected graph and all these vertices can be colored with the different colors let us consider we have red green blue the main constraint in coloring graph is that no two vertices should have same color no two adjacent vertices should have the same color let us consider if this vertex a is red then we can have any one of these colors here let us consider if i select red here both the adjacent vertices cannot have the same color so the constraint is not satisfying so it cannot be red so let us consider i am going to that is uh, i am selecting the next color that is green so this is red and this is green and uh, this must be different from the green let us consider if i select red if it is red then the d the color of d must be there is different from the red i cannot have red here because a is also have red then c is also red so d cannot be red so let us consider i am selecting green see the vertex a it has red and the vertex b has green and c has red and this is green so this is allow this is one solution so that is uh, red green red green this is one particular solution for this um, coloring problem so what is the minimum number of colors required in order to that is um, color the graph that is what is called a chromatic number so in this case uh, we have um, four vertices and of course uh, the available colors are three but just by using only two colors i am able to that is uh, color all the vertices so that is what is called chromatic color so minimum number of colors required to color the vertices of a graph is called chromatic number so in this case uh, just using uh, red and green i am able to that is um, color all the vertices with uh, satisfying the constraint so that is what is called chromatic color so similarly we have um, so many number of solutions now in order to that is uh, get those solution we have to that is um, generate the state space tree so initially i am considering that is um, x a as red color okay this is red and now the b cannot be red b cannot be red so b cannot be red so that is uh, not the solution it is not the solution so just uh, we terminate the search here okay so now we proceed the search with um, next color if it is uh, green if it is green okay we'll proceed the next color with uh, the you mean uh, for c so c can be that is a red c can be red okay and uh, with uh, c is red and uh, proceed with uh, d is red d is red is it uh, correct because c is red and uh, d cannot be red so this is not the solution get terminated so now change the color of the d 
this is green so now our constraint is satisfied this is red green red green this is one particular solution okay red green red green this is one solution so now change the color of d if it is uh, blue so red green red blue this is also a solution red green red blue this is also a solution now go to the previous um, node previous vertex that is um, c change the color of uh, c let us consider if it is green if it is green because uh, b is also green so this is not the solution the tree terminated here okay now change the color of uh, c that is if it is c is blue then now we can have different possibility for uh, this uh, d if it is red what will happen because a is a is already red so this is cannot be a solution so the tree get terminated here now check the next uh, possibility if it is green if it is green that is uh, red green blue green this is a possible solution red green blue green this is a possible solution so similarly now change the color of uh, this uh, d if it is b so c is also b so this is this cannot be a solution so this cannot be a solution so that again the tree get terminated here now go back go back and change the color that is uh, color of uh, this um, b change the color of b so now it is blue this is red and this is blue now explore the different possibility so again uh, xc try this um, this is red and now change explore the possible colors for d okay if it is red what will happen if it is red uh, a is red so this is also red c is also red so this is this cannot be a solution okay so get uh, the tree get terminated here now now try the next color this is green if it is green red blue red green this is a solution this is a solution okay now change the color of uh, change the color of um, uh, sorry green is a uh, solution similarly blue change the color that is blue blue is also a solution see that is um, red red um, blue red blue red blue red blue this is also a solution okay all the three possibility for d is over now we move on to the that is a, again go back to c change the color of uh, c this is green now okay so now change uh, have the different possible colors for uh, d that is red if it is red what will happen this a is also red so this cannot be a solution the tree get terminated here suppose let us consider if it is g if it is g c is also g so again this is also not possible get terminated here so next possibility that is uh, blue if d is blue yes it is a solution that is red blue green blue this is a solution okay red red blue red blue green blue this is a solution this is a, this is a solution okay so similarly what actually have obtained the next possibility in um, that is um, the c suppose if it is b so b is also b so this cannot uh, proceed further so get terminated here so similarly what uh, actually we have done it for um, x a is equal to red so similarly x a is equal to that is a green okay consider x as a, that is a as a green do the that is explore the tree similarly consider a as a blue and again proceed 
So we'll get towards that. The different possible solutions for um, uh, this A is uh, A, uh, the color of A as G, uh, green and uh, this uh, color of uh, A as blue. So you'll have set of solutions. Okay. So here I have given uh, six possible solutions. I hope uh, you understand um, the problem and how to get um, how to draw this um, state space tree and how to that is get the solutions. Thank you.